Since the conclusion of Starship Flight 8, countless discussions have taken place regarding the cause of the explosion. The Raptor vacuum engines, fuel line leaks, or the structural design of Starship V2 have been widely cited as potential reasons. However, it seems that what most people have paid little attention to could actually be a significant cause of this explosion. That is hot staging. So, why do I make this claim? And has SpaceX found a solution? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. In 2023, SpaceX conducted the first integrated test flight of Starship, aiming to showcase its fully reusable launch system. This test represented a crucial step towards SpaceX's long-term goal of enabling human missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. However, the test flight ended in failure less than three minutes after launch. One of the primary causes was the stage separation mechanism, which did not function as intended. A key issue with the original design was the ignition sequence of the ship's engines during separation. When these engines fired, heat and pressure had nowhere to escape, leading to dangerous buildups that could damage the engines or even affect the booster below. This flaw forced SpaceX to rethink its approach to stage separation, eventually leading to the adoption of hot staging, a technique commonly used in Russian rockets, which allows for continuous thrust and smoother separation. SpaceX designed its hot staging system with a specialized ring positioned between the booster and the spacecraft. This ring features multiple vent holes that allow heat and pressure to escape during stage separation, preventing the dangerous buildup that had previously caused failures. The effectiveness of hot staging was demonstrated shortly after its implementation during Starship's second test flight, marking a major step forward in SpaceX's efforts to refine the vehicle for future missions. However, we must now reassess this approach as hot staging has begun to reveal new issues in Starship Phi 2 flights, particularly Flight 7 and Flight 8. In both of these launches, Starship exploded just minutes after stage separation. While it would be premature to place all the blame for these failures on hot staging, as analyses have already pointed to engine-related issues in previous flights, hot staging cannot be ruled out as one of the contributing factors to the recent Starship failures. One possible cause could be back pressure generated during the hot staging process. When the Raptor engines ignite in the confined space between Starship and the booster, the resulting shock waves and back pressure could indeed pose a threat to the vacuum Raptor bells. These bells are designed for the low-pressure environment of space, with thin walls and large expansion ratios to maximize efficiency. At sea level or in the chaotic conditions of hot staging, they're far more vulnerable to dynamic loads, heat, and even potential blowback from exhaust reflection. Damage to these bells, such as cracking or deformation, could impair engine performance or lead to catastrophic failure during ascent. Besides, thermal stress is another significant concern. The Starship engine's exhaust plumes, directed downward toward the booster, would generate intense heat, even with a protective hot stage ring. This ring might mitigate some direct impingement, but the trapped exhaust in that confined space could still elevate temperatures beyond what the booster's bulkhead, plumbing, or feed lines are designed to withstand. Unlike ground tests, where exhaust dissipates into the open air, flight conditions during hot staging could create a pressure cooker effect, amplifying thermal loads. If the bulkhead or propellant lines weaken under this stress, it could explain failures like leaks or fires, Especially given the cryogenic nature of the methane and oxygen, which already strain materials. Interestingly, these issues did not appear in Starship 5-1, which had a reinforced engine bay that provided better protection against the forces of hot staging. However, with Starship 5-2, SpaceX made modifications to reduce mass, and some protective components may have been removed or minimized in the process. This could have left the engines more exposed. As a result, the vehicle may struggle to handle the combined stresses of hot staging, Vibrations from engine ignition, thermal gradients from exhaust gases, and mechanical loads from the booster below. Critical areas such as the engine mounts or fuel lines, already under cryogenic stress, could crack or fail entirely. Another challenge is that static fire tests on the ground do not accurately simulate real flight conditions. While these tests have not revealed any major engine failures, they also do not include the hot staging process, meaning additional stresses that arise during actual missions are not fully accounted for. So what are the possible solutions to address this issue? Given the concerns surrounding hot staging, some analysts have proposed several potential fixes. The first solution is to gradually phase out hot staging. 
By eliminating the need to ignite the main Raptor engines during stage separation, SpaceX could avoid backfire shock, pressure waves, and thermal stress on the vacuum bells and bulkhead. This approach would help preserve the integrity of the propulsion system and remove the heavy hot stage ring, thereby reducing structural mass. The second solution is to install thrusters on each of Starship's four flaps. Placing thrusters on all four flaps, two forward and two aft, could serve a dual purpose assisting with ascent, and controlling separation. During the boost phase, all four thrusters would fire, drawing propellant from the booster's tanks through a crossfeed system, effectively supplementing the booster's thrust. At staging altitude possibly lower than with hot staging, the forward thrusters could shut off, letting the booster peel away and return earlier, while the aft thrusters keep Starship climbing. These thrusters wouldn't need to match the Raptor's power. Smaller, simpler engines designed for short bursts could do the job, keeping weight and complexity down compared to the hot stage setup. Many also believe that SpaceX could resolve the issues with hot staging by removing the three sea-level Raptors from Starship, which are primarily used for landing and replacing them with additional gimbaled vacuum Raptors, bringing the total to seven. This could optimize the vehicle for spaceflight. The flap thrusters would handle ascent assist and separation, while the vacuum raptors take over post-staging. This shift could increase payload capacity by prioritizing vacuum-optimized engines and freeing up space in the engine bay. In terms of reliability, these solutions could address the issues with fuel lines and engines related to hot staging. Without the intense forces generated by igniting the raptors in a confined space, the vacuum bells and fuel lines would experience less stress, potentially reducing the risk of cracks or failures. However, implementing these solutions is not without challenges, especially when it comes to crossfeed systems. SpaceX needs a robust, quick disconnect QD mechanism that detaches flawlessly during staging. While SpaceX has explored crossfeed concepts before, such as with early Falcon Heavy designs, it has never actually implemented them. This means they would need to rely on their engineering expertise while also conducting rigorous testing to prevent leaks or blockages. After all, there are many interesting solutions to address the issues with hot staging, but SpaceX must remain more vigilant than ever, given its ambitious acceleration goals for this year. Currently, SpaceX remains committed to improving hot staging rather than replacing it. In a recent update, Elon Musk and his team revealed a new hot staging design for Starship V2 and V3. The upgraded ring will be longer, with larger vent holes to improve heat dissipation. It will also be lighter and structurally simpler, making production and refurbishment easier. If successful, this could eliminate the need to discard the ring mid-flight, bringing Starship closer to full reusability. SpaceX is also adjusting the positioning of the booster's grid fins. By lowering them, they will be less exposed to the heat and pressure of hot staging, extending their lifespan and improving the booster's recovery reliability. However, we won't see these changes immediately. The next flight, using Booster 16, will still feature the current hot staging ring. However, recent images from Starbase suggest that Booster 18 may introduce an improved design. If so, the upgraded hot staging system could debut as early as Flight 11, possibly in June. Otherwise, we may have to wait until Flight 12 or 13 later this year. Hot staging has proven to be an effective stage separation solution, but it also presents new challenges. While SpaceX is actively working to refine the system, Alternative approaches, such as adding thrusters, could offer long-term benefits. Beyond the hot staging upgrade, Starship V3 will introduce several significant enhancements, making it the most advanced iteration of SpaceX's fully reusable spacecraft. Talk in detail about its dimensions. Starship V3 reaches a height of 150 meters. This expanded design allows for larger fuel tanks and greater payload capacity, enabling more ambitious missions and improving overall efficiency. The fuel capacity has significantly increased for both the booster and the ship. Booster V3 will hold over 4,000 tons of fuel, which is 750 tons more than V1 and 400 tons more than V2. Meanwhile, the ship will store 2,300 tons of fuel, a 1,000 ton increase from V1 and 800 tons more than V2. This added capacity will provide greater range and endurance, making Starship more capable of orbital refueling, lunar operations, and deep space travel. With these improvements, Starship V3's payload capacity is expected to exceed 200 tons, a major leap forward that will enhance its competitiveness against other heavy lift launch vehicles. One of the most groundbreaking upgrades in Starship V3 is its enhanced thrust capability, powered by 39 Raptor 3 engines. 
These next-generation engines will provide unprecedented power, pushing Starship's total liftoff thrust beyond 10,000 tons, three times the thrust of the legendary Saturn V rocket. This massive increase in power will allow Starship to carry larger payloads, travel farther, and execute more demanding missions with greater efficiency. This upgrade is particularly critical for SpaceX's long-term vision, including Mars missions, lunar base construction, and deep space exploration. The increased thrust will make heavy cargo deliveries more feasible, ensuring that essential infrastructure, supplies, and even crews can be transported safely and efficiently to destinations beyond Earth. With this record-breaking propulsion system, Starship 5-3 is set to become the most powerful and versatile launch vehicle ever built, paving the way for a new era of interplanetary spaceflight. With the introduction of Starship 5-3, significant infrastructure upgrades will be necessary to support its larger size and increased capabilities. One of the most critical changes will be the construction of new, taller launch towers, likely exceeding 170 meters in height to accommodate the stacking, launch, and potential catch of the upgraded vehicle. The existing towers at Starbase and Cape Canaveral will need modifications or complete replacements to handle the new dimensions and requirements of Starship V3. Additionally, ground support systems will require reinforcement to manage the immense forces generated by the more powerful rocket. The flame trench system will be upgraded to efficiently channel and dissipate exhaust energy, reducing wear on launch infrastructure. Meanwhile, fuel storage capacity will be expanded to support the increased propellant demands of Starship V3's larger tanks. To sustain SpaceX's ambitious high-cadence launch schedule, the Star Factory production facility will also be expanded. New, larger assembly bays will be required to mass-produce the upgraded boosters and ships at an accelerated rate. These infrastructure enhancements will be essential to ensuring Starship V3's successful deployment, enabling SpaceX to push forward with orbital refueling, lunar exploration, and deep space missions at an unprecedented scale. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.